Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Hello, YouTubers. Keanu Dave again. Welcome to episode 3 of Nostalgic Reviews. And this time, I'm going to do review something special. And that, of course, is on the Bubbler Builder Take Along characters. Now, as you see, I have, like, the main five and all that stuff. So, we're going to go into the main five. So, the main five are here. So, here we'll start off with Dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy, 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 busy. Um, not much to say about her. She's pretty interest, pretty interesting. Like for for so, for what Take Along has done, and yeah, she has like an interesting feature, which is of course that when you if you lift her head up, she'll go up like this, which is exactly what she does in in the original series, and then yeah. Uh, she turns her cement uh, mixer around and, like, cement would come out of her bucket. Uh, she has, like, a, like the old-style take-along and play magnet as, as what the old, as, like, the old uh, take-along and play models of the Thomas the Tank Engine models had. So, yeah, but as a nitpick, uh, she is completely oversized compared to, like, the rest of the Main five, uh, considering that she was the smallest member in uh, in the t in the team, and here's another f here's another fun fact: she she is dizzy is rather considered as rather considered as a male in the Romanian dubs, like Romania in Europe, like Romania. Yeah, she's. She's considered as a male, just like the the other the other four. So, yeah, that's quite strange to think about it. And so now we head into my favorite character, Lofty. Now, Lofty's a pretty unique character. He, uh, everything's nook and crane. Like I can relate to this character. Like he, like he's like shy. He's kind. He gets nervous. He's he's afraid of mice. Like, I'm afraid of spiders. Well, I think a lot of people are afraid of spiders. Arachnophobia. Uh, he has, like, a little magnetic that allows him to connect things to his hook. He used to come with this large rail thing. And, uh, his, uh, crane arm would extend open. And, uh, and he comes with a connector. He comes with a connector to help him turn around, uh, turns very easily. So, yeah. I really like this character. I really like. He is one of my favorite characters. I can consider I can relate to his personality. I can relate to him. I just really liked his voice in the UK dub, in the UK version. I hated his voice in the US version. I like his UK version. Like, oh, I think so. Oh, I don't like it. I think I can lift it. Oh damn. Yeah. So yeah, he's a he's a fantastic character. Such a shame the reboot made him like sort of like an anno obnoxious and annoying like what they did with Duck. And now we head into Muck. Yeah, let's get Mucky. So yeah, Muck's a pretty interesting character as well. He looks pretty accurate to how he looks in the show. His uh, caterpillar wheels are molded on, so basically they're they're not friction tired. Considering like like the take along uh, Terence the tractor is uh, his uh, dumper uh, moves up and down. You can put dirt in it, and his uh, his uh, digger will go up and down. So yeah, and here's another fun fact: uh, Muck is regarded as a female in the U.S. Like that's pretty strange, but I think. Uh, the US, USA parents were complaining that uh, due to the lack of, uh, of female machines, considering they wanted more girls to watch the show, and uh, so that's why he was, changed, he was regarded as a female in the US due to the lack of female machines. But come on, we have, we've got Dizzy, Pilchard, and Wendy. Don't they regard as female? As I said before, because females were complaining that due to the lack of uh, of girls growing up to be like builders, but 
Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now we head into Rolly, rock and roll. So yeah, just like Dizzy, he's got like the old style take along and play magnet. So he can connect to Thomas characters. And this is actually the only ro Rolly character, uh, Rolly toy I know that has him smiling. Because when, when I see him in other models, he looks rather sad. But this is actually the first time I've actually seen him sp where uh, Take Along uh, Learning Curve has made him smiling. So yeah. Uh, all he does is rolls backwards and forwards just like uh, any other s any other uh, steamroller. So yeah. His roller can turn, I don't want to. Yeah, so he's a... He's alright. Nothing interesting, but... He's still a still a great model and very re very spot on replica to how he looked like in the uh, the show. And here's another fun fact: just like with Dizzy and Muck, Rolly is considered as a female in sweet Sweden. Oh, what's what's I mean? What's wrong with people these days? What's wrong with people always changing the genders of what the Characters are in the show. And now we get into Scoop. Uh, can we fix it? Now Scoop is actually another one of my favourites. Like he, he, he's just like Robin from Teen Titans in a sort of way. Like he's, he acts like a brother figure to the to the other characters and always sympathises with them and sticks up with them and always finds a way how to get out of the situations. Just like. Uh, other situations, which what made him such a great character in the show. Uh, here's like a uh, clawed back digger goes up and down. So yeah, uh, here's a uh, uh, his front digger goes up and down. Here's a uh, little front re front reels go up and down. Yeah, um, pity that these things I don't know what they call don't go down because they're molded onto his body. And here's a fun fact. Here's a fun fact. Scoop is considered a, a, a is considered as a female in Sweden and the Netherlands. Oh, that's oh, what's wrong with people? These wrong with people. Can they just leave the characters as they are? They don't have like uh, genital bits or anything. They're just machines. They don't have like little genital bits like we humans do. So yeah, and. Personally, I preferred Scoop in the original series because he, because he was uh, smart and always good at getting out of situations, acting like a brother figure. But in the reboot, he's a complete other idiot, which really ruined his reputation and what he was like in the original series. So yeah, so yeah, rest in peace, old Scoop from 1998 to 2012. You had your dime. So yeah. And now we head into Benny, who first appeared in this movie where Bob and the gang go to Germany. Uh, he's, uh, he's alright. I actually like him because he's a very, he's got a very nice colour tone to him. He's like, sort of like a burgundy, reddish pink colour. And he always uh, re refers to Scoop as the big, uh, big banana, because of his Scoop's colour. Now, he has like a... Like a connector joint to his back digger. Uh, his front uh, claw thing goes up and down, considering that he is a snow machine. Uh, just like with Muck, uh, his uh, caterpillar wheels are molded onto him. So yeah. So yeah, very, uh, very un, very, very strange, very strange, but I think... Uh, learning curve did not have the, the n enough tooling and money to make uh, to make the caterpillar wheels a separate piece. And now we head into uh, we head into Trixie, which is actually w considered as my least favorite character uh, in the show because I couldn't stand her. She she tries to be like Spud in a sort of way, but not funny. And more annoy and more annoying, considering that Spud was like always the comedian in the show, comedian in the show, like always making you laugh at some at something if he did something stupid. But Trixie fails at this every time. Now, basically, Trixie is a forklift. 
I don't know what type of forklift she is, that there is a chunk of fall forklifts, and basically, just like any forklift, her forklift goes up and down, so yeah, not much to say. Uh, her, her tires are made out of rubber, just like with, uh, lo like, lofties. So yeah, she's not really one of my favourite characters in the show. So yeah, eh. Uh, basically, just like with Thomas the Tank Engine, the producers of Bob the Builder repainted her model into the into another fo into a red forklift character. Can't remember what he or she's name was again, and and after that we never saw Trixie again. So yeah, quite a sh shame. But even though I couldn't stand her, stand her voice, she was so annoying. Ugh. And now we end into Skip, who is considered as rather an underrated character. Uh, a rather underrated character. I actually really like Skip, for a fact. He, he's a really interesting character. He's very, he's just like Lofty, sort of like a younger version of Lofty. Uh, yeah, and uh, he has like a bumper mouth, just like Lofty. Uh, yeah, and he's like a recycling garbage pickup truck. Now basically, his uh, garbage lift loader would go up and down. Yeah, and then if you turn it over, it would turn from garbage into that sort of like yellow box. Uh, that Bob or some other guy, I can't remember what his name was again. And, uh, uh, he has a connector which makes him help turn... Turns easy, just like Lofty. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, basically, he wasn't really in the show for that long. Like, he didn't really have that much of a large role to himself. Like, he only had, like, two episodes where he had a large role. And then he had, like, non-speaking roles and cameos. And then, in the later... And then he was last seen in Series 1 of Project Build It. And then, and then, then his model was uh, repainted and rebuilt into Parker. And after that, and after that, we never saw Skip again. Yeah, that was his last appearance. Was in series one of Project Builder, so we we never really got to saw Skip again. So basically, that was Skip's last appearance in the show. So yeah, so yeah. And now we enter the last cam uh, uh, character, which is Scrambler. Not much to say about him. Uh, I wasn't really fond of his character. I only liked him because he went really fast. Uh, he has like the old style take along and play magnets, like Dizzy and Rolly. And uh, I actually got this guy a long time ago, and he came with a a blue trailer that. The same color as him, then you connect connect it to him. So yeah, uh, he was occasionally driven by either Wendy or Bob or uh, Spud the Scarecrow. Occasionally, uh, uh, he his front wheels go up and down. Not much to say. He doesn't really have much of an interesting feature. Uh, he, considering that he lasted quite a. He lasted through like roughly uh, two seasons of the show. Uh, he, uh, he, he, he was in Project Build It, and then he was in uh, in Ready Steady Build, and Ready Steady Build was his last appearance. Considering that the show was cancelled in two thousand and twelve, and the